Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we just recently got a brand new update after about a month's worth of time. And I'm going to be showing you guys everything new. So, we're going to be talking about mainly the biggest stuff that we've seen so far. So, I'll give you a list of that. We have a brand new revamped Toys for Trucks, so, which we will be showing you. We have Canadian license plates at the DM DMV. So, if you guys are any Canadian pl players, y'all want your Canadian license plates, you'll be getting them. Uh, they added a more uh, complex fuel system to try and uh, match uh, real-life driving. They have auto lights. They have a convertible toggle button, so that way if you have a convertible car, you can switch it from convertible and uh, open top and close top. You have seated animations. Uh, new uh, There's a new option in settings called acceleration mode right here. Uh, this can be toggled to give more subtle acceleration, more direct acceleration, or normal acceleration. Uh, there's two new uh, prop buildings which will be released soon behind Toys for Trucks. And Toys for Trucks' new name is Truck Planet. So yeah, and there's a bunch more. It'll all be down in the description below if you're interested. And we're going to take a look at the new cars. Now, we did get news that there is a brand new Rolls Royce, so we obviously have to check it out. We have a brand new uh, uh, Mercedes G-Wagon. We have an Acura TLX, which we will definitely be trying that out. We're going to be getting one of these convertibles to test it out. We have a bunch of new uh, remodeled cars here. Uh, we have a brand new BMW Z4, I believe this is. Uh, new trim, this uh, Buick. I'm not sure what this is in real life. Uh, you guys are going to have to let me know. Uh, we have a brand new Dodge Charger. We have a new Pagani. Uh, we have a new uh, remodeled uh, Ford GT. We have a Mazda Mi new, newly remodeled uh, Mazda Miata. And we have a Jeep Wrangler, I think that is. But yeah, first we're gonna, obviously going to be testing out the Rolls Royce. We've been waiting for this for a very long time, so I think we're all very excited. Let's see. The best option, I think it's Golden. Oh, Eclipse. Alright, we're going to have to go for Eclipse. Now, the specs. I'm actually very interested. So, top speed is about 148 miles, and this will be on most of the cars. I believe it's on all the cars, but I can't make any promises for you guys. Uh, we have 350 horsepower, and we have 14 miles Per gallon. MPG means miles per gallon, in case you guys weren't aware. So, we're, I think we're going to go in the black. Go for the black and gray. I really do like it. Let's see. Are there any other trims? Yep. You've got uh, bicolor O spoke. You got a bunch of. Uh, you only got two. Sadly, there wasn't enough, but it's okay. Uh, and oh, I forgot to say this. If you go into, if you go in here, forgot to mention it. This music is with the dealership. So whenever you're in here, you know, get a nice little jamming session while you're trying to find the right car for you. You know. <laughs> All right. So I'm actually really excited. We've I actually got an early release on this. I was in an OGVRP session and I saw one of the v developers in this vehicle. And I gotta say, it looks really nice. I mean, the attention to detail is really nice. I'm gonna open it. Oh, I gotta say, here is the convertible option, I believe. Just like that. I was hoping they went for more specs, but I honestly still think this is really nice. Comes in a... I believe this is a 6-speed. No, 8-speed. Yeah, 8-speed manual. So, you've got all three. I gotta say, this is a really nice car. Brake lights are nice. Turn signals are nice. I like the front ones a little bit better. I gotta say, this was really nice. Although, they didn't really add much of a special sound for the car. I wish they did, but it, honestly, it's okay. I was hoping they were going to add a little special sound to it, but this is the average car. And honestly, it's not that bad, but honestly, I still think they could have done that. But I think we'll be seeing that very soon in future updates. So, honestly, can't be complain, complaining that much about it. But yeah. I would highly recommend this car. Um, I got the Eclipse model. You can get whatever whatever model you want, but I would definitely hi I would highly recommend this car. I think it's very nice, and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I I think it's I think it came out really nice. So we're gonna remove the G wagon I have now. I I think that was an amazing G wagon to be honest. 
Now we are going to get the brand new 2021 G Wagon. Now there's like set, there's a bunch of trims for this car. You have a bunch of options for colors. We're gonna go with the stock blue color. We obviously gotta get black rims, silver. Yeah, black five spoke. So we get the Sport Midnight, which this one's very nice. I truly do like this one. We get the Sport Line, so you don't get the black. You get a lot of chrome. If you guys like chrome, that's fine. Uh, you got the Sport Line Midnight, which this one is also very nice. You got the Sport Plus, so this one is definitely going to have a little bit more uh, horsepower than, let's say, Sport Line Midnight. Or maybe not, actually. Then you've got Sport just by itself, which is pretty nice. I gotta be honest, I think they did a really good job. This is Sport Midnight Plus. This one, honestly, I think is very nice. You got Sport Midnight Midnight plus sport line midnight plus there's a bunch of options here it's just extra options the way i see it but you know it's always your choice now they do have a sport golden plus you get the gold but i don't think the gold goes best with a g-wagon but hey it's your money you guys can spend it however you want for our sakes we're probably gonna get the hold on probably gonna get the or actually we're gonna get the sport uh sport line plus we're gonna keep it in the blue honestly i think it looks nice in this blue i think they did a good job with that i gotta say the music that they put here in the um excuse me in the uh dealership i think is very uh nice so yeah i like how this bar is black i think if it were chromish color i wouldn't like it that much You've got the special uh, logo. I forget the name. If you guys want to help me out in the comments, I would really appreciate it. I th I, th I really like this. I really do. It looks it looks very similar to one of the new G wagons. Hold on. Let's just hear that start up again. Wow. That is. Oh my God. Let's see. Did they do it? Yes, they did. Ah, oh, yes. I like how they have it on the hood. I uh, I've seen these on a few of these models, but yeah, I think it's really nice. This doesn't have the best acceleration. Hold on. Let's let's test this out. Instant smooth. Let's try smooth. Yeah, I don't like smooth. This is smooth. Is like I don't know. Smooth, I would recommend instant for like if you're doing a drag race or something, you know, you want to get off the line. But instant, it, smooth is really nice as well. So that way you don't end up going off the line like when you're role playing or something. But yeah, I honestly really like this car. I think it's really nice. You got the sunroof. I wish you could open the sunroof, but hey, uh, it, it it's a little bit too much. But I, I still think this is very nice. I personally do enjoy this car. And like the previous one. I'm going to be keeping this one actually. Now next car. I'm going to be showing you guys. And this is probably going to be one of the last few. There isn't a much that there is to show. Uh, the Acura TLX. I am, I'm a big fan of the Acura TLX. And I want to get it as uh, one of my, one of my uh, future owned cars. Got to get the Type S. Or actually... Where is it? Yeah, type S. Oh, wait, wait, isn't there a wing on it? Or, like, a kind of curved wing? Yeah, we're gonna have to get... Alright, specs. It's about 3,200 pounds. It's for, uh, it's for, uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, it seats five. Oh, uh, you got 22 miles per gallon, which is a lot better. You have 354 horsepower, and you have about 141 miles. So, we're going to keep it in the stock red. Uh, it comes out to about uh, $54,000, which is a pretty good price. Uh, sadly, it is a luxury pass. If you guys don't have the luxury pass, I'm afraid you might not be able to buy it. But, yeah, it, it's all it's all there. You still have a bunch of more options. I like the Acura TLX, to be honest. Yeah, you do get the wing right here. I, it's not a big wing, but yeah, you get that nice exhaust. You get that nice uh, rear bumper, which I do like. You get the four exhausts. Uh, the rims are nice and everything. I, li I really like the front grille. I think the front grille is actually pretty decent. Whoa, that's a nice startup. Ah, it's pretty nice. I just don't like the startup noises, like those beeping. I don't think it's the best. Turn signals are kind of basic. The front is, uh, it's kind of like the Western Motors, now that I realize.
Headlights are kind of nice, to be honest. So, oh, I forgot to say this. So, you when you have your lights, so this is lights off. If you hit L, it'll be automatic. You can see right here it is A, as automatic lights. And if you hit it again, it'll just be regular lights. It all depends on what you choose, but that is how you toggle it and turn it on, in case you guys are curious. That's a little uh, Easter egg that many people won't figure out. But, hey, I'm here to help you guys out. I would highly recommend this car. For the price it is, I think this is a really nice car. And I think that it is definitely worth it. And I'm actually going to keep this car, personally. I do like it a lot. Now, let's see. We do have a... I want to see if they have an XSC model. If they have an XSC model, I'm probably going to get it. Let's see. Ooh, XSC Nightshade. <clears throat> Dang, it's not it's not as I thought it was gonna be. This one has 204 horsepower. Not bad. I mean, it's definitely a good cheaper car. XLE. Yeah, I mean, I would recommend this car. We're not gonna test it out just for time purposes. Now, next car we do have to try out though the brand new Z4. I personally like these cars. I think they're really nice, and I hope they have a. And performance shadow edition yes I love these cars they are so nice and if you put it in black the specs 270 horsepower 161 uh, miles per hour it's a pretty light car now it is only a two-seater and sadly that is how it works with BMW Z BMW Z's and but yeah this is a really nice car and this is actually one car that I really do enjoy uh, personally in real life I think uh, this is a really nice car so we will be testing this one out. Where is it? There, here it is. Ooh, I like it. The grill, I'm not the biggest fan of. But it still is nice. You got the blue caliper brakes, which is really nice. You got, you got the dual exhaust, uh, dual wide exhaust. I think it's very nice. Starts up just like any other. It is convertible, so it's pretty nice. Interior is actually really nice. It really is similar to an actual BMW. Lights are, wow, I like them. Got these side lights too. Definitely are gonna show, I think. Ooh, you even have it there. I really do like this car. I think this is really nice. This, this is a fast car. If you're looking for a little bit of power and something that, uh, I, I would highly recommend this car. It's just such a nice car. Uh, I, I personally, I'm a huge BMW fan. Uh, you guys will learn that in my live streams. If you ever want to come check them out, uh, make sure you, uh, turn on post notifications for that. But yeah, I gotta say, this is so, so nice. It is truly so nice. You got the whole, uh, uh the screen you got the lights i don't know if you guys have a brand newer bmw i think it's a 2014 or newer this is real life you will have these side lights and you can control them it's blue orange and yellow and white but uh that's not that's not uh important to the new update but yeah um that's that's really about it um all of these are just new trims to vehicles. New trims. There is the new brand new Bullhorn, the, two, uh, the 2013 one. You've got Premium, you got TR, you got SFP8, you got SFP10, Premium, and that's about it. Specs are about 130 miles, 370 uh, horsepower. Pretty nice. You got about uh, 10 colors. Yeah, about 10 colors. Honestly, I would recommend this car if you don't want the uh, the 2021. It's only a few grand cheaper, so if you have the money, just go for the brand new one, to be honest. Um, that's about it with these new cars. All these are just new trims, nothing really special. So, next we are going to be taking a look at the new Toys for Trucks. I'm actually very excited to see this because uh, Toys for Trucks, if you guys have been playing this game for a while, you know this is one of the original setups for the car, uh, for Toys for Trucks, but yeah. Uh, but first we're going to be checking out the brand new Canadian license plates. Uh, I know I know, I have a lot of subscribers from Canada, a decent percentage of my subscribers are from Canada, so shout out to you guys. 
But yeah, we are going to be checking it out. I do think, I do appreciate that they have Canada license plates. Because it, because if you guys know, if you go up, if you go north, if you go in the north of the United States, you'll see that there's a, you see a lot of Canada license plates from like Toronto, Montreal, places like that. So yeah, you got Ontario, you got uh, Quebec. I'm not ha I'm not good at pronouncing these names. Uh, you got a bunch. You got a bunch of places. So we're going to have to we're gonna have to do Quebec City. Quebec City is kind of amazing. So let's do Z4, just like that. There we go. Got the Z4 license plate to represent the brand new Z4. Now, in case you guys aren't aware, you do have to re uh um, respawn it for you to be able to see the license plate. In case you guys weren't aware, but you know, it's okay. So, this one. Oh yeah, I forgot. Canada license plates don't have front license plates, but I do like uh, je me uh, je me souviens. I think that's how you say it. I'm I'm not, <laughs> I'm not the best, but I do my best. I try to do my best, but yeah. So we are going to go to the Toys for Trucks now. I do like that they added a uh, new um, Canada license plates. I think it's actually going to be pretty nice, and I think it's going to be heavily used because there's a lot of people that play this game that are from Canada. I think uh, it'll, it'll definitely bring bring some recognition for the game. Now I'm actually really excited to see uh, Truck Center. I think it was called. But yeah, it's right up here. Oh wow, that is very nice. And then we have two buildings back here. You got these three garages, which you can go in. Surprising. Got a bunch of boxes, fans, vacuums. You got a big ceiling fan, which is I think really nice. Uh, you got some stuff over here. I wonder if these ladders are climbable. Is anything here interactive? I'm curious. Oh, these are interactive. Wow, that is really cool. Yeah. Wow, that is really cool. Wow. I I, I think that's really cool actually. I, I mean I wish I did like how you know with their garage you can just like but it's okay. I think that'll be here and probably in the next one or two updates. Now we do gotta check out the inside of Truck Planet. That's what it's called. Oh wow! Oh, you got the ring. You got the tires. Very nice. Got a bunch of tire options. You got these for the back of your trucks. I wonder if you can actually get them and put them on your trucks. That'd be cool. You got a door here going to the garage. Restrooms. The pee pee poo poo room. Got an office. What's back here? Just the back. Then we're gonna show, check out those new two buildings. Let's see, are these registers interactive? Let's see. Okay, they are interactive. That is very cool. Got flags. What is this? Oh, these are these are uh, flatbeds for your trucks. Yeah, very nice. I gotta say, and then you got flags and everything. I gotta say, they did a really good job remodeling this. After having that uh, previous Toys for Trucks, I, that's been here for a while. I mean, a really long while. So I do gotta say, seeing that is uh, very cool. Oh, also one thing I forgot to show you guys, I don't think you saw. But if you look here, the steering wheel moves and you're holding the steering wheel while you're driving. Which I think is actually really cool. So, to get to these new places, there's a road right here. Whoops. So this, this is I think probably like, I mean definitely it's for a place for your trucks to pick up loads and stuff like that. Like right here, you connect your truck and all that. But I, I'm excited to see what this will be. I think this is going to be something cool and it definitely shows that like uh, carrier trucks like cargo trucks will be here very soon since they are adding more of these like Amazon has it Amazon the uh, the Sahara building has it so yeah see 
have bays for the trucks. Those are prop buildings, so you can't actually go inside them, sadly, but hopefully. Let's see. Ballistic automatic options to mobile devices. Let's see if there's anything else. Let's go back over here. And let's see if there's anything else we missed. Uh, oh, and also gas it does go a lot faster. It all depends on how many miles per gallon you have. If you have, um, if you have more miles per gallon, that means your gas will last a lot longer. So it's more for smaller cars, hybrid cars. If you have less miles per gallon, you're going to go through a lot more gas. So, new Canadian place saving fuel, auto light options, convertible toggle button, seated animations. Yep, seated animations, I showed you that. Accelerate mode, we'll, ch we'll test it out. So, this is with instant, we'll do 0 to 60s as best as I can. Okay, we're gonna go pop it into manual. So zero to sixty is pretty fast. Uh, I got I accidentally got stuck in the gears, but pretty good. Or you know what? Maybe what we should do, just like this, is with a uh, smooth, which isn't bad already. Then we have instant. Yeah, much faster. Uh, it, it's it is faster. I wouldn't say much faster, but it still is faster. Now you guys can test this out with all different kinds of cars of your choice, but I just tested this out. And also one thing that they added, if you have a display name, so if you're on the computer and you have a display name, they added support for it. Uh, I'll read what it says: add a display name support in the player list. So, if you, I'm guessing, uh, I'm, I, I'm actually not so sure about this, because I don't have a display name myself, but, um, yeah, if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, this is about it for this update, I, I really do think it, I really do think it was very, I think it's really nice. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I, pr I appreciate everyone tuning into the video, checking it out. I hope this helped you guys in any way, shape, or form. Uh, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and turn notifications on. I'm doing a thousand robot giveaway uh, very soon. Uh, I posted two, uh, a video about it. If you guys want to go check it out. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, peace, guys.